These are the secret Gili Islands. Now you've probably heard of Gili Tea, known for its beautiful beaches, turtles and party sea. But just 50 kilometers south are these untouched islands with empty beaches and no crowds. We found the secret Gili's tour on the Viator app and we're gonna find out whether or not they're worth a visit. We are about to be picked up at any moment. How are you? Yeah. Joel. Nice to meet you. Nice to oh, meet yeah. you. So we have just arrived at the port. Let's head to these secret little gilly islands. It should apparently be wet season at the moment, but it's still dry. So we've got a beautiful dry day. Look at this. It looks like a mirror. It is. It's incredible. Whoa. Perfect, thank you. Whoa, look at this. We can sit on the top of the boat. What? It's not wavy, is it? Huh? It's, it's not, not wavy. I hope not, otherwise we'll go in the water. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Is it different? <laughs> Let's start this adventure. So far, we've not seen any tourists, which is quite surprising because if you go to the other Gilly Islands, you'll see a lot of people. And we've got this private boat. I've never sat on a bench on the roof of a boat before, but this is sick. Beautiful flat sea. It's going to be a good day, guys. It's going to be a good day. You can kind of see on the hills how dry it is. It's not rained properly since wet season, which was back in April. So it's like seven months ago. It all looks so like brown and dead. Every single tree, grass and bush is just like brown. <gasps> There's another one. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we've seen like two turtles through this water. It's so clear and they're really deep down, but you can still see them. <gasps> Hopefully we can swim with them later. That was incredible. So like, so clear down here. We're obviously gonna have to go in in a bit. This is our first gilly of the day. I think it's gilly layer, but I will check with you and put it down there. All these islands we're visiting today are uninhabited islands. So this is gilly ring it, which we'll be visiting after, but it's called mosquito island. That's what ring it means. Ring it means. Not sure if I want to go there because I'm the one who always gets bitten. Yeah, I never get bitten, so it's all good. <laughs> so now we are snorkeling from here. We're following the, the current. Oh. Are you ready to snorkel? Let's do it. Let's go find some turtles. Yay! Let's go! I was just snorkeling and then the weirdest thing happened. This turtle literally pooed right, like on me basically, but the poo didn't come on me, don't worry. But the poo just came floating towards me. It almost looked like a human poo. It was the weirdest thing. I was like, did that just happen? Kind of cool, never had a turtle poo on me before, but we saw two turtles. I don't even know what type of turtles they were, but they were just eating all the corals and just floating around. And the best thing is there is no one else on this entire island. Uh, okay, there's one little maybe fishing boat over there, but no other tourists. We had the whole thing to ourselves. And that's what's amazing about this place, the secret gillies. There's no one else here. We are heading over to our next spot now, over here to another gilly island. <laughs> All these islands are gilly islands, and you might be asking, what is gilly? And gilly actually means small island in the Sasak language, which is the local language here in Lombok. Down there. It's actually crazy. You need to get in. Alright. Get in! I'm coming! Woo. That snorkeling spot was so good. There was honestly so many fish everywhere. Again, hardly a many tourists here. It's probably like, well, I don't even know what the time is, maybe 10 30. Tennis, but we're heading to the next island. I think hopefully we're gonna have a bit of beach time now because blimey, we're tired from all that snorkeling, all that free diving going down. So we have just reached Gili Cadiz and this is like a really small little sand island with a couple of trees on and a beach hut. Actually, and it's got some swings. Oh yeah, yeah. like <laughs> we're in the Maldives. So cool. Wow, look Whoa, at this. Look at the water. So clear. <laughs> wow, this is paradise. And this place is beautiful. Look at this sand. Powdery sand. This island is beautiful and it's just so random. Just this little bit of sand in the middle of the sea. 
when they're so different from all the other little islands around here. If you are interested in booking this tour, we use the Viator app and it's really easy just to download and just get this tour because why not come here when you're in Lombok? Forget the other Gili Islands, come to these Gillies. <laughs> There's literally no people here, it's crazy. A couple of people came, but they just left. So now we've got this whole little island all for ourselves. We've got all the swings, all the water, it's great. It does blow my mind that we're maybe an hour's drive from Kuta, and maybe a couple of hours from the real Gillies, and this place is beautiful. Probably more beautiful than the Gillies as well, which is a bit crazy. I don't know, we've not been, but just saying. Could be, could be. Could it be? I don't know. You tell me. So unfortunately we have to leave Gili Kedis right now, which is super sad, but we're going to another island and I think we're going to get some lunch, which is good because I'm starving. Same here. Although I think the other island is one of these ones over there. Not far. Let's go back on the boat. Bye beautiful island Gili Kedis. We have just reached Gili Tangkong and this is where we're going to be having our lunch. Honestly, I'm so hungry. Looking forward to this. What a way to welcome us to this island. We've got a fresh old Kalapamuda, a coconut. Yeah. Is it sweet? It's super sweet. Yeah? Mmm, a little tangy. Mm. Mm. A little coconut fact for you. Apparently, coconuts taste sweeter when the ground is drier, so that's why. It tastes really sweet because at the moment it's dry season. So. Wow. Can you make Wow, this looks so good. We've got our own fish. It each. smells unreal. Okay, that wasn't all the food. Look at everything we've got here. Amazing. We're on the beach. We've got a beach dinner, beach lunch. You'd pay a lot of money for that in Europe or the Maldives or whatever. That was a lot of food. I'm almost in a bit of like a food coma now. I don't like cows. I feel like they could attack me, but a cow's just come to say hello. Maybe you wanted food. Going over to the next people to see if they'll give him any food. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so full after lunch. I'm just gonna like float in the sea and relax a little bit. But one of the things I wanted to let you know is you can actually stay on some of the Gili Islands around here. Um, they're not the ones we've been to. They're a little bit bigger. I think they're called Gili Gade. Gooder? I don't know. I'm just going to put them down there, but you can actually stay on these islands. So if you want a little escape where there's not many tourists and stay a few nights and just chill, have all these beaches for yourself, then you actually can. One of the things I wanted to share with you guys is that actually in a lot of these places, especially here in Lombok, there's a bit of a plastic problem. And as you can see, there's just plastic bottles. And once you get up right to the beachfront, you can see all this plastic, all this rubbish all the way along here. There's so much of it. That's probably a little bit is washed up, but also just unfortunately there's not really a way of disposing it properly here in Lombok. So that's why there's a lot of trash everywhere. Oh, Amelia's just had problems with the cow. The cow is like taking our stuff. He's eating the coconut. Is he all right? Yeah, the cow's been eating the coconut. Oh, right. I thought he was attacking our stuff. No, he just wants the coconut. Hey, bro. Hey. Here we are back on our boat, back to the mainland. Well, the island of Lombok. We've just come down to the beach for sunset after a crazy day exploring the secret guineas. Honestly, they are such beautiful islands and I definitely recommend going. We had one of the best turtle encounters I think we've ever had, like yeah. just swimming with them, no other tourists around. It was insanely cool. And pooping on you. Yeah, and the turtle, when it pooped on me, that's just an unforgettable experience. Sorry, there's some little puppies behind oh, us. Hey. Hello, little puppos. Little babies. I think oh. they're going fishing. We booked this tour through the Viator app and I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you also want to do this tour. I highly recommend doing it if you're not a big fan of like big crowds, because obviously the other Gilly Islands, Gilly Tees, there's loads of people. Hey dog, that's my bag. Hey dog. Not in the bag. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. We've got a few more Lombok videos to come, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.